that fog not oh, look so Oh, I know, right? But I got someone with all yeah. the style, okay? An American <laughs> actress, singer, dancer, an Indiana native is leaving it all on the Broadway stage. She is back in her hometown of Indianapolis to perform at the Cabaret. Kirsten Hodges, hey. thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Welcome home. Me. How's it feel to be home? I'm so excited to be home. <laughs> Full circle moment. Man, we were just talking about that. How cool is it? I mean, Ball State graduate um, from Center Stage on Broadway. You got to tell us how this full circle moment has felt for you, especially as you're still in that transition. It's felt really awesome. And, you know, to this is my first solo show. Hey. And, um, you know, a lot of people in New York City, they put on their first solo show in the city. Mm -hmm. So to be able to do it in my hometown, like I said, it's just so full circle because I get to have so many friends, so many so many family members, so many people so close to me be a part of that. And to get it in my own in my hometown, in my home city is just something that I just like. I, I couldn't ask for anything better. It's like way to check it off my bucket list. I, love that I so would much. bet that they're all also very excited. I, I yeah. assume that's reciprocal. <laughs> oh, right? I'm like, sure they're probably in the audience. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah, girl, yeah. I hate it. I'm so excited. You know, for <laughs> the first solo show to have people who are there, like, they're going to be there rooting for me, you yeah. know? They're, to have that support while I'm curating this is just unimaginable. Wow. So you starred in a pretty famous production called I mean, pretty famous. <laughs> Jesus Superstar. I mean, I people mean. people have kind of heard of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but now you're doing this all this shows all you. What's that yeah. like where you're going from something that is very together and mm -hmm. and known to this is me raw by myself. Well, I think that um, the difference is is this show that I'm curating is told from my perspective. Mm. It's like, you know, I've had to figure out what lens I want to tell this story through and how I want to put these songs together to, like, kind of share my story and to share my heart. So it's very personal. There's you know? so many people, and you know this, in, in the Indiana area that love the arts and mm -hmm. that dream of doing exactly what you're doing mm -hmm. right now. What would be your advice to them about finding their voice, about crafting their story in such an authentic way like you have? I would say to always, and I know that it sounds so cliche, but like to truly, um, to truly just always be who you are and to um, to stay true to that because in this industry especially it's very easy for people to try to sculpt you into what they think that you should be you know especially being a black woman in this industry there's so many lanes and so many um, so many boxes that because I, I mean I could go on and on and on about you know theater and elite like how elitist it no, is and things like that that's, but it's a culture it it's is a culture. and i'm sure that you've been upstream in this oh, yeah. culture with your authenticity absolutely and the i mean the accessibility of theater and all of that and so i think that one a huge part of why i have gotten as far as i have is because i've stayed so true to myself and sometimes that's really hard to do when you have so many people coming from different angles telling you that you have to do this that you have to do this these are the roles for black girls these are this is probably be what you'll be doing this is what you'll be doing it's like no this is what i want to do i know that's right and so period that's what i'm going to do well, there's not a comma it's just the, the punctuation what's it Hello? mean to you know that <laughs> what does it mean period. to you to know that when you're performing at cabaret that there could be someone in the audience mm. who's receiving that message that's why i do what i do mm. that is why i do what i do in six the musical that I was just in on Broadway, I was the first black woman to play Jane Seymour in Six the Musical and stuff like that is so special to me because like I said, it is theater, musical theater especially can be so elitist. People, a lot of people can't, you know, people of color, they, they just don't have that accessibility. You can't afford tickets to go, you know, to fly to New York and to see shows on Broadway and things like that. So to be able to be a representation of that and for me to be um, able to be a representation for people like who look like me to see me on the stage and know that there is room for them to take up space fully and completely is so special to me. And so that makes me very happy because that's why I do what I do. You are such a gem. We are so proud of you. <laughs> I know that everybody else is so proud of you too. And we're so proud of you that we want somebody to be able to win that's right. a chance. We do. There's a chance for you to win two free tickets with hey. a complimentary parking voucher to see Kirsten Hodges live. <laughs> Just go to 
allindiana.tv for your chance to win. And what do we say about free? If it's free for me, it should be free for you too.